Hi everyone, it's Mari for the Vicky Booten Design Team. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm going to be creating this 12 by 12 scrapbooking layout using the gorgeous Fernwood collection. I'm starting off here with a piece of the foundations paper from Vicky Booten, and I'm applying some watercolor pigment to this uh, paper here. You can just see it's kind of a teal color and just really wanted to create a little bit of subtle color here in the corners, in the two corners, the top left and the bottom right, using some watercolor here. And so I'm just going to put that on there. I've added some water to the paper and then I added the pigment into the pools of water and moved that around a little bit with my watercolor brush. Now I'm just going into the pigment that I have over in the tray over to the right. Just going to splatter some of that down so that when it's all dry I just have these two subtle areas of color on my white cardstock. Now I'm taking one of the teal uh, uh, Vicky Booten art crayons. I've just put it dry onto one of the stamp sets from Fernwood and now I, I've just activated it with a little bit of water. I'm just rubbing it around and now I'm just going to do some watercolor stamping with that leaf stamp on my paper. And this just creates just a little impression of a leaf. Really subtle. Again, when it dries back, you can see the details of the leaf, but it just looks really pretty. So I'm going to add that up to the top area there as well. So you'll just see me there stamping that down. I did add more color to the stamp for that top area there. Now I'm taking another one of this, the uh, stamps from the set. This one, it just is like some mark making stamps. It's like a little splatter stamp. And I added both of those stamps onto the block and I'm just putting those down in little dots. And they didn't come out very dark, so I decided to add a little bit of Distress Oxide in Speckled Egg with that same set of stamps, those same two little stamps that are on my block here. So I'm just going to stamp those out just to create a little bit more detail in those watercolor areas and just really love it. I'm a huge fan of making marks with stamps on a project and I just really love how this looks. So now I'm taking a Tim Holtz stamp. This is a script stamp. I will link up to all of the products that I've used for this project in the description box below if you're interested. And I just like the that little bit of text and it's just going to pop out here and there around the elements that I add on the layout. So I really like that. Again, it's super subtle. It's very monochromatic. All of the colors so far are the same. And I really like how that looks. Now I'm taking one of the stencils from Fernwood. This is from the Bountiful set. And I love this stencil. It's so fun. And it almost kind of looks like a, a grill or something. Kind of like, I don't know. I can't describe it, but it is very cool. I love it. And I like that there's just like tiny little open spaces, which is makes a really fun pattern. And I'm just using some texture paste through that stencil there. When I take it off, you'll just see some really nice texture for a layer on my project. Now I have trimmed down my foundations paper to 10 by 10. And I am going to layer that onto a couple of the pattern papers from Fernwood. I have um, cut the... Oh, and I've, I'm also showing you here, I sewed around the perimeter of this paper and that texture paste is all dry. And so the teal paper that I'm going to adhere this to has been cut down to 10.5 by 10.5 or maybe even 11 by 11, something like that. But they're all just, the mats are just a little bit bigger than the foundations paper. And I will link up to these pattern papers that I used uh, in the description box below as well. I think the teal paper is the burst forth paper. And then the paper with the dots on it, I'm just looking here, I've got it in front of me, is the full circle paper. That's the one that has the circles on the other side. So I just like the idea of adding a couple of mats behind my foundations paper. So I'm just adhering those all together, trying to make sure that the... Um, margins are all even all the way around and just using some repositionable adhesive to help me with that and then when I've got them all in place I will go in with uh, a more permanent um, pen or I should say tape runner and add that onto the the layers permanent so that they're permanent. Now I have fussy cut the flora and fauna paper. Oh my gosh that paper is so stunning and the color palette is just so gorgeous. I just love it like Vicki Booten is a genius when she's designing these papers. I just, 
I love them so much. So I uh, fussy cut the florals and you can just see here, I'm just going to use my foam adhesive to layer these up on the project. I have sped this up a little bit just because it's the same thing over and over again, but you'll just get the idea of how I'm going to add lots of dimension here with that foam adhesive. Now this is my photo here. It's a three inch by three inch photo. I'm going to use a couple of the pattern papers to mat behind my photograph. I don't have the eight by six paper pad for Fernwood. I don't know if it's I don't know readily available but I don't have that so I did use just some 12 by 12 papers to mount my photos and I probably will just keep those papers specifically that I trimmed from for photo mats in the future. I'm just dressing the edges of those papers and I will be popping that photo up on some foam adhesive here in a bit but I did uh, also fussy cut some of the smaller florals from the flora and fauna paper as well and so I'm going to use those just to create even more layers here and I'm going to ruffle up the edges of the papers curl up the florals a little bit just to give them more dimension in that way and I'll just go around the layout and do that with the different little bits there and just going to add a couple more in this one here I actually trimmed off of one of the paper paper clips from the collection from one of the ephemera packs and gave that a double dose of foam adhesive there just to give it lots of dimension just going to add a little bit of craft foam to the back of the photo and again I'm going to double up on the craft foam just because the craft foam's not very thick and I'm going to need a little bit more dimension based on the dimension that I've used in some of the other areas so I'll stick these two together and then I'll adhere that to the layout with some liquid adhesive here so you'll see me doing that in a minute so I'll just take that release paper off the back and add these together then I'll add this one onto the back of the photo I love this photograph here it's a photo of my daughter and her husband at their wedding and um, I actually didn't even realize that I had had this photo so um, I haven't used this one yet it's just so pretty it's outside so I thought it was really nice with these florals and it just kind of I don't know has kind of like that nature vibe going on so you can just see some liquid adhesive going down here and going to go ahead and get that on get that put away and then I will adhere this down and I will put something heavy on top of this off camera and let it get really nicely adhered to the paper there you can just see a close-up of that picture it's so pretty love that so now that's all stuck down I'm going to continue to add just a few more embellishments I wanted to get the photo on here before I added the rest of the the die cut pieces because I definitely want to layer some over top of the photo so here you can just see I love these mushrooms oh my gosh these mushrooms are just some of my favorite die cut pieces from the packs I just love them I don't know if it's the combination of red and white I'm not really sure but I just think the mushrooms are so cute and also this butterfly I wanted to work in here as well and this large fern piece I definitely had to trim that down for the spot that I wanted it for but I'll just trim that off and use that other piece in another spot and just put that back in with the rest of the um, embellishments the die cut pieces so yeah gonna get these little mushrooms stuck down in this other little corner here I think they're so sweet and I think they definitely fit because like I said this is an outdoor photo and they are so cute <laughs> so I'm just gonna get a little bit of foam adhesive onto the back of that and then get that adhered down to the project so really love that so much and how the colors all work together I'm gonna put a couple of extra pieces of foam on this butterfly just to give it lots of lift on the layout elevate it up there a little bit above the other layers and this is just going to create that layered look on my project so there you can just see that I'm going to give a little bit of white splatter over everything here so I'm just using my Dina Wakely gloss spray and this is just going to add just that really nice bit of extra um, detail on the layout and I love that this and I've said this over and over again but one of the properties I love so much of about this gloss spray is it dries really dimensional and so it's really nice Th these are the cardstock stickers from Fernwood they are fantastic again always 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 with Vicky's collections I'm going to take a little bit of 
uh, foam adhesive strip and put just a little bit on the back of this piece that says today. So you can see there I used one of the black puffy phrase stickers that says hello. And then the word today is gonna finish off the title. And then I've got plenty of space for journaling on the layout as well. There you can see to the right of the photo. I love that every time Vicki comes out with these black puffy phrase stickers, every tiny little area of this sheet is full of little bits. And I love, I'm gonna use these, these probably the most I think on here, these little gold dots. I love them so much. Like I could have sheets and sheets of just these little gold dots as well. So they're so perfect, but you can see how on these sheets, there's like little hearts and there's vines and all kinds of little bits. So they're just so great. Friends, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this process. I have linked up to all of the products that I've used in the description box below. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love to have you a subscriber. Make sure that you click subscribe and that notification bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again. Have an amazing day, friends. Happy New Year, and I will see you soon for more Vicki Booten inspiration using the beautiful Vicki Booten products. Bye-bye.